A new survey finds that New Yorkers feel their quality of life has taken a big hit in recent years. Residents were asked about everything from public education to crime on the subway. CBS News' Christina Fan joins us live from downtown Brooklyn with a breakdown of the findings. Christina. Mary and Chris, good morning. This is the first quality of life survey taken in the city post pandemic and the responses are pretty bleak with just 30% of New Yorkers saying they're happy with their quality of life down 50% from 2017. New Yorkers are feeling less positive, not very safe, and unsatisfied with most city services, according to a new survey by the Citizens Budget Commission. The nonprofit, which interviewed 6,600 households across the city, found 30% of New Yorkers rate quality of life as excellent or good, and one third rate it as poor. The Adams administration responded by saying it's important to keep context in mind. We're seeing this across the country after COVID. A lot of folks are, a lot of cities are having problems rebounding back and having people say that they're up to the same quality of life. The survey also found just 37% of New Yorkers felt safe in their neighborhoods, down from 50% in 2017. 24% believe the quality of government services is good or excellent, down from 44% in 2017. And only 11% feel the government is spending tax dollars wisely, compared to 21% six years ago. Results vary depending on race, neighborhood, and income, with white people, residents of Manhattan, and those with higher salaries more likely to report satisfaction. The survey also found the focus of Mayor Adams' administration does align with New Yorkers' priorities, including public safety, housing, and clean streets, but that a great deal of progress still needs to be made. All those things that New Yorkers believe that are important, the report says that we are on the right track. The goal is, is to continue on that right track. And according to that survey, communities reporting the best quality of life include Cobble Hill here in downtown Brooklyn, as well as the West Village. Those reporting worst quality of life issues include Jackson Heights in Queens, as well as Kingsbridge in the Bronx. Reporting live from downtown Brooklyn this morning, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.